choreographed this by my sister, actually. Her name is Luna. Yeah, I grew up in LA um, since I was a little child. They had like a show where Asians influenced Latinos and Latinos influenced Asians. The artists that I mentioned for an exchange are a very, very diverse group from all sectors and all districts of LA. Uh, you have Asylum, who is, I guess he is more, represents the East LA. Um, his studio is in East LA, so let's just say that he can represent East LA. He works out of there. Uh, he is developing into a very impactful uh, gallerist or gallery artist, yet he still maintains his presence in the street. That is very important, I think. Uh, he's influencing a lot of people, and not only that, he is growing as an artist. Uh, he's shown, he's traveled, he's shown in Europe and I believe Asia, all over the United States, uh, all over Los Angeles. Because this is like, they're small, like these birds are small. So like every time I paint with riders, they're all fucking tall and big and they're like, Kitty spots and I'm, I'm not that tall, so it's like my like animal spirit, I would say. So this is heavily influenced. My work is influenced by some Japanese like yeah, water Japanese. watercolor. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, this is when I stopped doing canvases because <laughs> like I had a canvas and then it fell on something and it was poking. Oh. And it, it, it tore, it tore something, it tore the canvas, so I, I tore it and pasted it on wood, and I started doing all my pieces on wood, because <laughs> it was more natural too, and then, so like these are new pieces I'm going to start working on, but see they're like re really small, yeah. I haven't finished that one yet. That was more like, like a, it's like graffiti, but it's Latino, you know, with like the mm -hmm. Sacred Heart. So, this is a, like the Minutemen, like in the future, the the government is gonna develop like, like, like robots. yeah, to control, and like this guy orders. pops up from nature, mm -hmm. like a superhero. Mm -hmm. So. Because my soul is deep, I take full responsibility. Give me everything, it hurts, it's so beautiful. It's that universal, soulful, multicultural, emerging worldwide pride, people. I'm alive in Los Angeles. I'm alive in Los Angeles. And the I'm other artist is I1, who is one of the younger ones that um, I think he's around the same or a little older than uh, Asylum, but he is. Uh, he is a self 
or should I say publisher from the scene. He publishes his magazines. He started off as a, a zine. Now he's moved up to seven books, self-published. He's going on the more professional book now, who uh, I think who he's really important because he's also becoming a historian of the LA East, pretty much East side of the scene, the East LA scene. Um, so he, he's definitely a historian. But I find that hard because I can't really just keep, you know, because I can do like print. a little cartoon character. I can like do a poster. print, I'll do a photo, like, you know, you know and a lot of times people don't targets. realize it's in my stuff that I do all As we things. know, all kinds you of know, like kids. People and... who only see the book think, oh, you do a book. People that only see my graffiti think, oh, you do graffiti. But then when I show them, oh, wait, I do all these other things, they're like, oh, wait, that comes from the same person. And I, I personally can't, I mean, I personally see like the, the connection between all the things I do, but I think maybe in the future I'll be able to translate that more to the outside, so people realize, oh wait, this there's a thread running from this sticker to this book to this piece on the wall to this print. You know what I mean? We are going to uh, the house of Mir, the house that Mir built, and the studio, and uh, we're going to talk to him about uh, many things. is a an incredible powerhouse and uh, he was representing Hollywood uh, but now he uh, he's stationed in, in uh, the east side border of Echo Park Silver Lake he okay, is a uh, almost like a granddad now because there's so many that came under him of crossing the the gallery and street and not only that uh, working the the canvas like he works his walls you know um, with your paintings depicting a lot of political political uh, visuals aside for just painting the political a landscape? Do you, are you involved in uh, politics as outside of painting? I used to be much more involved in politics. Um, I used to hit every protest I could go to. You know, I used to throw bottles at police officers and make painted signs with Bush with twin tower devil horns coming out of his heads like that painting over there. And... Um, I used to do a lot of that, and I kind of, uh, I got frustrated going to the involvement of politics in this country, and pretty much in this world, it seems like there's a lot of uh, confusion, you know, as we move into this new millennium right now. This was all representative of each person pre-programming the next person to fall into the wings of complacency, to fall into time. And he's standing here on his books of knowledge and revealing the truth of reality to these people, trying to wake them up as they become the, 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 the feathers, the, 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 the transporter of that time. And that time is a prison. And they're trapped in that time. And he's lost them to that time. So, um, there's one more, I believe. Who's the other one? myself I I'm just uh, I have no boundaries in in what I perceive to be a graffiti form of art I think anything you do outside with no permission is allowed and um, um, I support anyone out there that goes out there and tries to do something that they have inside to me that that is the most important part of this whole uh, graffiti urban art movement so I'm one of those old school guys from from LA that has no school uh, I think if you can use technology to do something outside you go ahead and do it uh, if you use brush go ahead and do it rollers go ahead and do it graphics through stickers through posters through whatever you want you can do it 
uh, I use them all. I, I think it's, you know, if you do poetry and go out there and do your poetry, go ahead. That's me. And that's why I've, I've, been, I've been in it for the long time because I think it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing to go outside and see an amazing, amazing amount of work out there. So. And um, I live, when I lived in France, I, uh, I met up with, uh, with Thomas, Thomas Raymond, uh, and uh, his association for, for the first, I think it was called The Attitude. I don't know, what it's, what's it called, Still Attitude? Uh, I traveled back and done some pieces. I brought Mir out there, I brought Marvsky. Uh, um, so we have this exchange from LA, I think, to Montpellier, because I, I feel at home at Montpellier, the south of France to me is just like uh, California or LA. Rhyme. Westwood, 1995, me and Mike were getting live over a track, and then everything went black. Next day, he would call me to say that we could sway on our way uptown, find a new spot to put it down. Over the next year, we lived at 510 number 9 land fair, made plans there. We enjoyed the waning college fanfare, and some nights we listened to Raekwon into the way dawn. Scene 2, West L.A., on Beloit Avenue. Finished school, wasn't quite sure what to do. Phil Martin rolled through and stayed for about six months. See, plan for a new era of art and expansion. The same two cats I lived with back then are still friends. Trying to get ends and trying to make sense of life in the city. Sometimes it's tricky, sometimes it's cool. But I remember back when we was in school. The style's more refined now, but it's funny when you rewind how you see that early energy. It had a birthplace, the first place may never be found. But I remember how we used to put it down. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Put it down. The ultimate recipe for transcendental therapy lies between the syllables, so we make meaning a miracle. Journalizing the audio, video, visual, visceral serial to bring you massive mind material. Exude life's ethereal octaves and aerial gateways that move from San Jose to Uruguay. Every single day display that baritone breakaway workplace. Hello, I'm I1 from Los Angeles. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I like your, I like your city. Soy I1 de Los Angeles. Me da mucho gusto estar aquí en la ciudad de Montpellier, Francia. Et vas-y, muchas gracias por tenernos acá. Aujourd'hui, c'est l'ouverture un peu du festival avec le vernissage de l'exposition donc euh, consacrée à nos amis californiens Mirwan, Yemwan, Aiwan et Zylem. Donc ils sont venus euh, tout le roi de Los Angeles pour nous présenter un peu leur création, euh, tableau, collage, euh, projection et euh, en même temps une petite euh, réalisation en direct de la part de Mir. Euh, et... That one, up there, the stencil, you know, stencil, stencil, you cut, you cut a paper, you cut with the, the scalp, scalp. It's on what it's done, we're going to discuss the technique, in fact. It's not like the painting, he has transfers, he's mixed plenty of things. Yeah, I like the color he uses, I like the color he uses. Là, ce qui m'a plu, c'est déjà l'ambiance générale, de pouvoir utiliser une ancienne bâtisse pour faire quelque chose d'aussi moderne, comme vous le voyez là, la salle Bagoué, à l'époque, c'était plus pour la dernière expo qu'il y avait, c'était du scoutisme. Donc là, on passe du scoutisme à quelque chose de très moderne, de très urbain. Euh, en ce qui concerne les artistes, j'ai trouvé euh, Yem dans, son, dans sa manière d'amener euh, ses toiles, si on peut dire, euh, qu'il était toujours euh, très moderne. Toujours très moderne, il n'a pas changé depuis 10 ans et j'apprécie beaucoup. Like, uh, I think like it, it gives a, a different perspective, like a, a real good understanding of LA. Uh, Mir has like a more um, like he, it's it's elaborate. His paintings are real elaborate. Like as far as the uh, 
like create, painting a wall. He's like one of those guys that he's an incredible artist. Jam yeah, brings like an element of like putting posters up on the on the city. They're graphic, and also like uh, I, I, he's a graphic artist, and he brings that element too. Uh, and me, I bring uh, the element of nature, you know, like wood and some of the subject matter is nature. So. Donc euh, le support bois, j'ai trouvé ça très original. Et euh, le côté euh, couleur, le côté euh, délirant, euh, bloquant, où on peut euh, vraiment euh, regarder une petite partie du tableau et euh, bien euh, imaginer plein de choses euh, qui nous passent par la tête et refixer sur une autre partie du tableau. Et euh, c'est comme, euh, je sais pas, un livre, un film, quelque chose comme ça. On peut, on peut vraiment euh, rentrer dans le tableau, se faire... Euh, ses propres idées, son propre film quoi. Tout. Et donc euh, moi je trouve que ah, c'est assez l'homme, c'est ça Assez l'homme, ça pourrait être une fille ce qu'il fait je trouve. C'est vachement euh, c'est féminin quoi, c'est son, sa, sa peinture et tout, ses, ses oiseaux, ses fleurs, tout ça, ça pourrait être une fille. Voilà, j'aime beaucoup. C'est mon préféré. À partir de demain, donc ils seront sur le mur de Stade Alain Achille, euh, à côté du Stade Philippides, pour euh, commencer leur fresque euh, pendant trois jours, donc euh, jusqu'à mardi, euh, avec donc les artistes qui faisaient l'exposition. Pop, 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 popular culture, paparazzi, popular rappers, MTV, longevity is fleeting in the age of icon backlash. Gossip moves so fast that stars are born and die in the blink of an eye. From Baywatch to Blade Runner, Alter Glamour, Weekends at the Hamptons, Jehovah, Britney Spears, Forward Fashion, Dolce & Gabbana, P. Diddy, Napster, in sync with Michael Jackson, Nelly, Ben Stiller, Mark Wahlberg, Snoop Dogg, pop music, pop, pop, pop music, pop, 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 popular culture, paparazzi, popular operas, MTV, longevity is fleeting in the age of icon backlash. Thoughts that move so fast that images are created and destroyed by a mouse's click. Lightning quick conglomerates send out press releases over the internet. Just ask Billy Clinton. It's a Jerry Springerization of world culture. Spectacle, tabloid television, ultimate fighting championships. Like internet startups that crash, new names appear in a flash. Longevity is fleeting in the age of icon backlash. Whatever happened to Cato Caitlin? It's like the Blair Witch Project, the cash money click. Limp Biscuit, Fred Durst, Chocolate Starfish, J-Lo, Cisco, Incubus, Ricky Martin, DMX, Ludacris. The names keep rolling, rolling. It's superstardom, multimedia, multi-platinum. And in two years, there'll be a whole new batch of them. Longevity is fleeting in the age of icon backlash. In the pursuit of fame and fortune, for many, the glory is more important. Pop. Pop, yeah, pop, like you can't popular culture, like paparazzi, yeah. popular ah, offers, okay, MTV, longevity, is the age of icon like backlash, like who's got what it takes to last. Side big. The wall by those two cracks, one, two, three, four, right? And then we can separate the wall by the, almost the buff line and above the buff line. So what are you saying, like those two squares, like the middle there? Yeah, they work in there because he's going to have something over here and something over here. It's going to be like the window comes in. They're all facing that side. So okay. it opens, it takes you in there. Well, this is and what then, I was thinking. All right, let me finish this one because he's, he's got the letters that he can go way up there too as well. Kind of gets the flow going on it too a little more where things are a little more flowing on it. Yeah. Not so formulated, like, yeah, you know? Like my, my characters or whatever I do will have halos, like yeah. circles. So then, uh, like I was, you said something like your character, like I don't know what you're gonna do in the middle. Yeah. Or may, maybe like if you could do like circles or something, you know? Like, I don't know how that would probably work. Let me get in the middle of you guys. <laughs> On va venir avec des Kind of like maybe just like loosely, there's like ghost in, like kind of okay. some area there, so I can. What are you guys doing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go 
post in some area and we can all kind of like... Probably won't, it probably won't be that big. I think I, yeah, I'm doing it too, too big and shit. Yeah. That's okay. It's not really ready to work. You know, simultaneously, we gotta think about what's going on around that stuff too. You know, um... just get the that sun one. features going already and then you start Like now that we're here, I'm looking at centrally. I don't know if that one character I'm talking about is really so hot. Maybe, maybe more of like that artist woman sitting under the tree that I've been working on lately. Maybe That's her, tight. like that'll Arkham be, OS in the center. That'll be tight. Maybe bring some more of that Arkham OS type of vibe to the wall. I think you were asking too, like if you, there would be like, like a Mother Earth? Woman, yeah, like a woman. Yeah. It might like nature too. Like you Mother know? Earth? Yeah. You know, maybe I can work on something like that. I like that theme a lot. Okay. Like well, there we go. That's where we're all with that always. Okay. Well, hey, well, let's even do something talking about Mother Earth. What's about that? Like. Actually, no. You know, what would be great is more more dynamics on your on your birds. Like kind of like more like. Do you want to go straight up? But if you give like a dynamics. I'll bring it more, you know what I'm saying, a flow. Because some of the times you have like a mad dynamics to it. Or like a three quarter, whatever you do is do a three quarter, not like straight up. Three quarter anything, any whatever it wants. So you know what I'm, a three quarter? So it kind of like side, kind of like side. Oh, okay. yeah. So that way at least it moves, because anything like straight old like block. So it's all, it's all about movement, so three quarters any way you want. So, yeah, like I would like work some, something in over like... Well, actually it works. And my, my stuff could be holding something like, like my hand right here or something. Could be holding something of yours, you know, to create like some type of uh, connection, you know? Okay. <laughs> Ils assurent euh, les graffeurs de LA, honnêtement ils sont très très sympas, en plus c'est du super beau boulot et comment ça réchauffe le cœur, comment ça fait plaisir de voir ça en direct, c'est très très fort, hein. bravo Attitude, hein. numéro 1 Attitude, hein. sur le hip hop en France, vous êtes les number one, yes yes yes. Because my soul is deep I take full responsibility Give me everything It hurts, it's so beautiful It's that universal, soulful, multicultural Emerging worldwide pride, people I'm alive in Los Angeles I'm alive in Los Angeles I'm alive in Los Angeles Where there are more angles than isosceles Citywide topographies undulate across massive landscapes We move from chain link to palatial gates Into separate economic states With rising birth rates Below hilltops in the streetscapes One can barely even equivocate The fluctuations in rent so evident All across from block to block to block Extravagance and adversity interlock 
palatial spots, crosswalks, burrito shops. Housekeepers are hanging out at bus stops. The country club is all walled off. The city's blown up like a molotov. And even when I'm in the shower, I'm hearing the horns honk. I'm alive in Los Angeles. I'm alive in Los Angeles. I'm alive in Los Angeles, feeling the cool bliss wind on my face as it relates to the figure eight at the universal gate. Third world pockets and first world nations. LA's got me gassed up like a station. Spellbound suspense like a transcendental episode from the twilight zone with real life overtones. Nothing short of pulp fiction. These fictions of the golden state that we relate caused me to wake up this morning with a clean slate, a full plate. Wait. It's never too late to meditate. Took a leap of faith over the bridge of hope. I can cope with stress. It's a bloody mess, I confess. Healing darkness to darkness. More or less, we coalesce. Darker thoughts, the brighter days. It's how we survive like a cat with nine lives. I'm alive in Los Angeles. Whether well, I listen to Miles Davis or electronic music, I'm moving through the traffic, loving the inner city dynamics. There is mid city magic from happiness to tragic, adversity to extravagance. Like seeing Korean grandparents moving slowly. While the captain school children are crossing fearlessly I saw a straight dog that looked like Spuds McKenzie By the Belmont Tunnel on 2nd Street Live and direct in the Rampart District That I am alive in Los Angeles I am alive in Los Angeles I am alive in Los Angeles Where futuristic, ballistic, mystics Kick linguistics with diction descriptive Radioactive paratactics are cracking massive Cracking massive, mix master tactics Dictate didactic, the groove is grooving galactic It's bringing a back kid like a chiropractic doctor Verbalistic operas rock you, shock you off the stream of consciousness When I am alive in Los Angeles